March came in that winter like the meekest and mildest of lambs, bringing days that were crisp and golden and tingling, each followed by a frosty pink twilight, which gradually lost itself in an elfland of moonshine. Ellen Montgomery, Anne of the Island. The tides of March have rolled in, bringing snowdrops and new life just beginning to press through the earth on the mountain. The weather, unsure of where to settle, has brought chilly mornings and hints of warm sunshine in the afternoons. Many nights in this season are filled with raindrops and blustering winds blowing away winter's grip. The month of March seems to press me into the discomfort of waiting. It has become a season of waiting, requiring me to lean into stillness, to contend with patience, and to steer my heart in the riches of contentment. Psalm 37, 3-5 says this, Trust in the Lord and do good, so shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. What's up,
my zip zip. My dear, dear friends, we wanted to thank you so much for coming back to our little house on the mountain. For more information or for the blog post on the DIY foot soak that you saw in today's video, please head to www.ourlittlehouseonthemountain.com and all the links and information will be in the description box and in the comments pinned below. And thank you to our patrons on Patreon for helping make Little House and Little House Story Corner possible. We love you, and Lord willing, I will see all of you right here on the next one. Bye, friends.